Hey everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Passion. We explore the wonders of growing our own food. So today I have to see from my farm market, so I'm gonna talk about Oasis Cubes. And for those of you that use them, maybe I can show you some tricks. And those of you that don't, maybe you'll start using them, because I think it's the most superior growing medium I've used in the past years, so stay tuned. I've been using Oasis Cubes for about seven years now. They have an enhanced drainage system so the top stays drier and the bottom stays wet where the roots are and so I don't get the algae growth on top. And another good thing about them is I do not get itchy like I did from Rockwell. Every time I uh, broke apart Rockwell, my hands would be all itchy and the cost. One of these sheets is about $6.50. A Rockwell sheet is about $12, so it's twice as much. But another good thing is there's 276 cubes here compared to the Rockwell, which only has 200. So you get more bang for your sheet here and they're easier to use and drop in your, your NFT channels. And another big plus for me is filters. They would clog up all the time when I use Rockwell. Oasis, I don't have the problem. When I see it from my farm market, I like to take my Oasis cube and figure out how many rows of each different variety I'm going to need because I use a bunch of different lettuces. I have Asian greens, I have Swiss chard and uh, watercress and bok choy, all got different kinds of things. So I like to break them apart for each one. So like this little 24 here is going to be for Rex, a lettuce. And so I just go ahead and break these apart. And the reason I do that is it just makes it easier when you go to plant after the plants are bigger and maybe some of them aren't ready to go in the channels, you can pull the ones out that are. And I just go down my spreadsheet, see how many I need, number of rows, and I go down. Oops, oops, I'm gonna do this one in four. And just break it apart and put it into my web bottom 1040 tray or 1020 tray. Double check myself. Okay, all ready to get saturated. Now that I have my cubes ready in the web bottom tray, I put them in a solid tray and I use nutrient water because it's already pH adjusted and that's what the young seeds need. You want to make sure the pad is totally saturated, otherwise you won't get good germination. So I've had a few questions about the difference between the multi-dimple Oasis Cube and the single seed Oasis Cube. Well, in a nutshell, the single seed is a cone shape, so when you drop a seed in, it goes all the way down to the bottom. The multi-dimple is more of a cylinder shape, so when you drop multiple seeds in, they all go down to the bottom for germination. So as some of you might know, I keep all of my seeds in a mini refrigerator in the control tunnel. And the reason I do that is it keeps the seeds fresh and viable for so much longer. Some of those seeds I've had in there two, three years and I still get really good germination from them. So after I get my seeds from the mini fridge, I make sure I get my plant tags written out because if I don't and I see something, I forget what I seeded right away. And I go off my spreadsheet and just go down Get a clean plant tag, put the date on it, and when I'm planting. So I'm going to start off with Rex, bib lettuce. So I'm all set. So I'm going to write them all out that I need for right now. So I'll be back in a second and we'll do some seeding. Well, I'm going to start seeding with single seeds and I'm going to start with Rex, the first tag I made. It's a nice pelleted seed, so it's easy to handle. And what I do is just go through and drop a seed into each hole. And it's always a good idea to have a pair of tweezers on hand with your seeding supplies, because many times I've dropped two seeds in one hole and it's so much easier to grab it out with a pair of tweezers. Well, I'm gonna keep seeding, I'll get this tray done, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how I do multi-seeds. Now I have to do some seeding for my CSA program, and it's a multiple seed, because I'm gonna be doing dandelion. Dandelion greens are pretty cool to grow, but they don't have flowers on them. So I use a handheld seeder, 
nice green one here, and I use a plant tag to push the seeds down the neck of the cedar. They do come with the lid, but for me it's just a lot easier to use the plant tag to push the seeds out. So I just kind of get them down the neck and just get them into each one of the holes. Just kind of gently put them down in there. Well, let me finish doing the seeding and then I'll show you where I put the trays for germination and how I cover them up. Now that the whole tray is seeded, time to take it out to the greenhouse and germinate. So I used to germinate everybody in the control tunnel, but now I brought my table out to the greenhouse because it's nice and warm in here and I don't have the heat on in the control tunnel. And they've been doing wonderful and I put a top on them to keep them in the dark and I check them every day and in about two to three days they should be germinated and sprouted. And at that time I put them in the nursery channel. So why don't we go over to the nursery and see what I have grown in there. It's the nursery channel and the first one I'm going to show you is what I seeded last week for my farm market. So they're, uh, they're less than a week old and look how happy they are. They're all sprouting real good. And then here I have little wren, which is the mini bok choy. Not quite ready to go in the NFT channels yet because they don't have enough leaves and there's no roots coming through. The next one is uh, Hans Tai Tai, which is a Asian green that has a mustard flavor. More little wren and some more Hans Tay there at the end. But what I have in these two rows here is Rex. And I looked at it earlier, and you can see the roots are starting to come through. So these guys are ready to go in the NFT channels. If I was gonna plant this whole pad, I'd pick up the whole tray. But since I'm just doing these few, I'm just gonna stick them here, because they like to drip all over the place, and take them down to the channels I wanna plant them in. I've got a couple clean channels here ready to plant and this next two or three weeks I have so much cleaning to do here in the greenhouse. I really let it go this winter but now they have the farm market coming I'm going to need a lot more clean channels so every day I think I'm going to come up and clean a section or two is going to be my goal every day. So with that said let's get these guys planted. So like I said before with the oasis cubes look how nice and easy they come apart. And to drop them into the channel, bloop, and that's it. You can hear it touching the bottom. Because you want to make sure it touches the bottom of the NFT tray. Because if it doesn't, when the water flows through there, and this, that guy's didn't germinate very well, and if this is sitting up on top a little bit, it's going to dry out and die. I've done that many a times. You know, you walk by and you're like, oh no, I didn't do that one right. And it's so much easier to plant the um, seedlings when they're little had times too I let them go too long and their roots all ball up and you end up ripping them all apart and you really stun them. So it's really a good uh, indicator is to get them in when they have two true leaves and a few roots coming from the bottom. That's the best time to get them in the channels. And you can see how nice and even the uh, lettuces are. Like I said, this is Rex. I mean, each one is almost the exact same size. So I got a really good germination. Okay, stick them into the hole, the return line, hook up the water, let it go for a second, and get it in there. There. In about four weeks, I'll be ready to harvest. I'll finish planting these in a sec. I'm going to take you over to the other side of the greenhouse and show you what a mature, uniform crop looks like. So come on over. Here's bok choy. This is gonna be ready next week for harvest. And you can see over the top how nice and uniform everybody is. You don't have little ones, you don't have big ones. It really came out real well in the Oasis cubes. And you can tell I got yeah, three, four, maybe five in there. But it's gonna make a nice harvest and it's gonna make somebody happy when they're cooking a stir fry. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. And like always, leave me any questions, comments, and suggestions down below. And if you liked today's video, please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.